What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Mr. Lysha26 here. Um, and this is my one year, one week on T update. Um, man, I'm still flying on that high from last week being one year on T. It still feels amazing to be this far on my journey when it feels like I just started. I just took that first step. Um, I want to send out much love and appreciation to everyone who wished me a happy one year T anniversary via posts on my actual video, posts on Tumblr, posts on Instagram, kick messages, text messages, um, phone calls, uh, all those people who were just a wee bit late and hit me up on Facebook. Um, yes, I updated my Facebook. I haven't been on Facebook in about 18 months, uh, mainly because it was such a public forum to come out on. Uh, people that I haven't spoken to in over 10 years, you know, are still on my Facebook channel. And that was kind of intimidating for me to, like, put myself out there to all those people who are on all these different walks of life. But, um, I did it. This, uh, I think it was Saturday or Sunday. I can't really remember, but I did it. I updated my picture, changed my gender, uh, posted uh, my one year on T video to my Facebook channel. And so far, the response has been all positive. So either people are like, you know, super supportive of me, or they're choosing to keep their negative comments to themselves, which I appreciate just the same. But uh, people I haven't spoken to in over 10 years hit me up out the blue, just kind of like, you know, or people that I haven't seen in nine years or spoken to in nine years since I was a freshman in college. People that I didn't even really know as a freshman in college. We just kind of ran in the same circles but weren't super close or hit me up telling me they support me and, you know, they wish me the best and they feel that I'm brave and courageous for following what's true for me, which, like... It feels amazing to have that support from people that, you know, used to know me and that might have different political or religious views that might set them apart from what I'm doing. It, it felt great. It felt amazing. Um, my main reason for updating my Facebook page was because I recently created a GoFundMe page. Uh, my GoFundMe page is GoFundMe backslash Mr. Elisha26, just like my YouTube channel, um, because I need to save money for top surgery, and it's getting kind of rough. Times are pretty hard, and so I figured if anyone would be interested in helping me, I would greatly appreciate it. Um, any dollar amount helps, one dollar to however many you would like to give. Uh, and that was my motivation for kind of updating my Facebook page because I'm starting to take active steps to be more than just on hormones. And also because it felt like the right time to, to be myself, especially with my 10-year high school reunion coming up. I'm not sure if I'm going to go or not, but, um, you know, being proud of myself, not hiding myself from anyone. Um, but yeah, I'm still stuck in my job because I don't feel that's a very safe environment for me to be out right now. But as far as Facebook and stuff, you know, it is what it is. People can't find my Facebook for whatever reason. I don't think it's my privacy settings. I think it's my life lock, which like, you know, is kind of like protecting my social security number and stuff. But for whatever reason, people have a hard ass time finding me on Facebook. So if you want to be my Facebook friend, Please uh, send me an email message and we can definitely connect that way. I'll find you because you won't be able to find me. But uh, back to the matter at hand. So yeah, go fund me. If you would like to help fund me in my top surgery, I would greatly appreciate it. Like I said, any dollar amount helps. And, you know, I would love for you guys to help me reach my goal of $6,900. Uh, if you help me just know that you would be a part of one of the biggest changes of my life. And 
I don't have really anything to offer right now, but I'm going to come up with something that I can give back to donators. Um, it's GoFundMe backslash Mr. Elisha26, just like my YouTube uh, username. Um, you know, I appreciate those that have to give. And I understand if you can't or won't, you know, I totally understand that. Uh, it's been, it's been kind of like a hard battle for me to decide to actually do a GoFundMe page because I felt like, how can I sit here and ask people in the same situation as me to give their money to me? But, um, you know, my friend put into perspective that people who can help and who want to help will, and people who can't or won't, won't help. It's not holding a gun to anyone's head. Um, I also want to talk about, like, you know, just how I've, I've been feeling this week. This week has been kind of surreal for me just because, like, the reaction I got from a lot of people on Facebook. Some people thought I was my brother, which I thought was kind of funny, kind of interesting, because, like, these people that thought I was my brother knew me pretty well, and I would talk about my family all the time, and I never mentioned having a brother. So I think that's kind of funny, like a long-lost brother or something, but I don't know. People commented on the facial hair, um, and people really responded to the video. Um, so that was amazing that, like, the video had such an impact, gained some followers, people went and started watching my videos, uh, people just struck up conversations with me, sent me messages, or posted comments on my video, which led to more in-depth conversations. You know, like I said, some people that I haven't seen in nine, almost ten years, some people I haven't seen in more than ten years hit me up. So that, that was great to see that, you know, something that I'm doing with my life that some see is, you know, totally bizarre or something that's, like, not really heard of for some people to have such an impact, and that really felt great. Um, also, uh, I've been having, you know, like, quite a few thoughts about what I want to do in this next year, and opportunity for me to move to California might be coming up pretty soon, which would be great. Uh, if that's the case, it'll be more money, which will help me save for top surgery faster, and which will help me pay my debt off faster for, you know, college and stuff, which will also provide me with a better community, which is really, really what I'm, like, excited about, is the community there, uh, the trans community. You know, and also, you know, doctors and therapists and all that other good stuff that I have to travel an hour for here that might just be right down the street down there in the Bay or in whatever part of it. So, you know, that was great. Um, but else? this past week, I have had a crick in my neck. Like, I don't know how I slept, but <laughs> I slept some kind of way. So I haven't worked out all week because I just got to be able to turn my head this far. Like, and to do, like, this is as far as I could put my neck down. And when you're doing suspension training with, like, your arms and your shoulders, I don't really think having a crick in your neck is real conducive for getting a good workout in. But it's feeling a little better. Hopefully by next week I'll be back in the habit of things. Um, what else? I don't know. Oh, I mean, for some people that didn't know, I'm a huge Beyonce fan. So when she dropped that album on Thursday, which was in the middle of Scandal for me on, you know, West Coast time, I could hardly focus. Between Scandal going, like, freaking crazy, beefed up, extra, extra potent episode, and Beyonce, like, ah, oh man, I almost lost my mind. I just think she's an amazing singer uh, and musician, visionary. I love that someone bought it for me. Thank you very much for looking out. Sent it to me in an email. Uh, I really appreciate that. Um, and even more so, I love the message of it. The message of Beyonce's album was something of like empowerment for black women. 
of all ages. And I thought that was amazing because too many times black women are looked down upon or not seen as valuable. And I feel they are very valuable. Black women of all ages, sexual orientations, gender orientations are powerful. They're beautiful. They're amazing. And I feel like they're God's gift to this earth. And it was amazing to see an album that celebrates them. And if you don't think that album celebrates them, you need to listen to Flawless. You need to listen to the whole album. But Flawless, that album really was amazing. And it really made me feel good because my sister loves it. My younger sister loves that album. Um, Well, my youngest sister. And in an area that we live in where black women aren't seen as beautiful, intelligent, inspiring, insightful, any of that stuff. I thought that was amazing to see what that album did for her. So, you know, that was really a highlight of this week. Just to see that joy in my little sister's eyes and whatnot. Um, you know, because I'm a big softie when it comes to my sisters and my mother. So, we don't always get along, but they're my heart, for real. And, yeah. Um, besides that, there's nothing else going on. Please, please, please support my GoFundMe. Um, you know, that would be amazing if you could give just a little bit. Uh, if everyone helps just a little bit, I can get closer to my goal. Um, yeah, but I'll probably put out another video with more information about my GoFundMe, uh, a little bit later this week. And, you know, shout out to everybody doing a shot today, because Monday is the best day, because that's the day I do mine. No, I'm just joking. Any day that you're doing your hormone shot is the best day, because it's liberation and it's moving forward. Um... And if you feel the need, hit me up. You know, life is amazing right now. And I would love to converse with some of my subscribers, some of my uh, followers. And, like, you know, get to know you guys a little better. And help you guys with resources if that's what you need. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to end this video right here. I'll see you guys a little bit later this week with the GoFundMe information. Much love.